not supposed to drink cow titty milk, but that's neither here nor there. If you want to drink from a cow's titty, do you? I said, huh? You gonna let me get it for us? And I said, clean up on aisle this one, because I'm about to throw the up. Roger, I'll suck your titty for free. I'm not even lying. Like, to be honest, he was like, why do girls like when you put your finger in their butt? Someone said napkins are better than toilet paper. Jail. Electric chair. Not that I'm bald, but like, you know, I'm, I'm bald. You know what I'm saying? Can you think of which one it is? Can you think of which ring I'm missing, Steve? Y'all need, y'all need y'all toes suck, because y'all put, y'all put y'all foot in this damn song. You have the wrong one. I just work here. It's like midnight, and I'm not even gonna lie, I'm tired as but I care about y'all so much that I'm gonna do this video anyway. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So, um, welcome back to my channel, and pretty much today, um, it is what y'all think it is. It's a vegan style, yeah. Cause if you didn't know, I'd be doing my own hair. Like every, 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 every wig you've been seeing me, you've been seeing me wear. Yeah, I did that. Cause literally, no one out here, no one out here on my side of the world knows how to do wigs like that so like you know the girls had to teach themselves but anyway so it's in today's video me installing a wig to cure my baldness not that i'm bald but like you know um i'm bald you know what i'm saying but it doesn't matter pretty much here's what we're gonna do here's today's activities here's today's festivities today we will it'll be a story time then it'll be some music and then we're going to react to some of you guys unpopular opinions because you know i can't just do a regular install and a story time that's lame and one thing about this channel we don't do lame stuff oh brother this guy stinks we're not part of the loser club babe we're not also so i got this wig from cy young cy young show can y'all see this? Wow. I got this wig from Cy Young Show or whatever. Not sponsored and they didn't send me this for free. And they gon' and you know, I'm manifesting it right now. They gonna send me a free wig after this video. They gonna send me a free wig after this video. They gonna send me a free wig after this video. Period. But yeah, so today we're going to be installing one of their wigs. This is like this is a 20 inch girl. I don't feel like 20 no 20 inches, but this is a 20 inch um uh, what is it? This is a 20 inch 13 by 4 lace deep wave human hair wig. What the f yeah, it's giving the girls body. Giving the girls body yardy. And you know what's crazy? I was literally going through a whole blonde phase, but I guess that blonde phase is over. And after this, I'm probably gonna take some bomb ass pictures and put on my Instagram. So follow my Instagram. To the left, to the left, this my left. To the, to this side, to this side. Now let's get into the story time. Okay, so let's start the story time, right? So this story time takes place not too long ago. I'm not even gonna lie. It actually happened recently. By recently, I mean like probably like last month. So for those of you who do not know, I work at Spencer's right so i work at spencer's and when i had first like the first like month and a half i was working there my manager used to put me like in the back of the store and if y'all know what's in the back of the store y'all know what's in the back of the store at spencer's like you know it's in the back of the mother store so when they used to have me in the back all the time i hated it back there i mean they don't really do that to me anymore i mean sometimes they do but like not really but just know i hate it at the back of the store like so so this day, the store was actually, it wasn't busy, but it wasn't like extremely slow either. It wasn't extremely busy, but like it wasn't hecka slow either. So I'm back there minding my mother business like I should, as I should. I'm in the back of the store, in the back of the back, next to the, next to the, oomps and the oomps, oomps, you know what I'm saying? If you don't know what's in the back of Spencer's, you're too young to be even. So I'm in the back of the back right i'm chilling in the back of the back walking around doing my loops because my job when i work my job when i'm in the back is to make sure people don't steal i never said i do my job well right so i'm not even gonna lie and hopefully nobody from my job see this but the number of people i be seeing about their stealing 
un unreasonable. I be seeing people, ooh, ooh, ooh. And you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? I don't get paid more to catch you stealing. I don't get paid more to stop you from stealing. Like, I just don't. So, do you really think I'm finna get, I'm really finna put myself into that confrontation? Because you wanna steal a pair of vibrant and panties? No. No, I'm not. So, and you know what's crazy? I used to get in trouble for like, I used to get in trouble for turning the missing in. So if I found like a missing, like an empty box of and I would turn it in, then all of a sudden it's, I need to pay closer attention and I need to make sure people ain't back there stealing. And guess what? I would go back there and still do what I used to do. I used to be back there daydreaming. I have my AirPods in my ears. I'd be walking back there listening to music. No, because I don't get paid enough to walk up to somebody like, you're stealing, huh? Like, can you put that back? Can you put that back for me? No, but I'm gonna need you to put that back. And then on top of that, my manager likes to call the police on people and I just, I don't want anyone to go to jail because as an ex-shoplifter, I just feel like it's shoplifters code to like watch out for other shoplifters. So like if you stealing as an ex-shoplifter, I can't, I can't turn you in for stealing. What do I look like? But that's besides the point. So I'm back there doing my due diligence, back there daydreaming, uh, pretending to do my job, as I tend to do. And I'm back there and these guys walk in there and there's like three or four dudes. And mind you, they look like they're like, I'm 18, so they look like 20, 21. They almost like extremely, like a lot older than me, but they're up there. Can I talk and put glue on my forehead? We finna motherfucking see. Got you. Bye. Girl, it's all like, Ugh. I have to shut up. Okay, shut up. When we do this first part, it's gonna be quiet. Shut up. I'm talking to myself as well. So everyone, everyone, be quiet while I do this. Get a fabulous in this mouth. Anyway, so these guys walk into the store and pretty much. Oh, let me tie up my hair. These guys walk into the store and they start talking to my manager, or whatever. For this instance, we're gonna call my uh, manager bomb. So they come in there and they was talking to bomb and they are pretty much calling her auntie and stuff like that. So I'm they're talking, they calling her auntie, talking about some. Let me give you a ride home. And I'm like, okay, so I'm I'm assuming that like my manager knows them. And she laughing and she's like, boy, go on somewhere. Duh, duh, duh. I'm thinking she's know these dudes. So I'm like, okay, I'm finna mind my business cause I don't know these people. And so like, what they got to do with me? Not a goddamn mother thing. So I'm minding my business as one tends to mother doing those kind of situations. Cause what the so I'm minding my business, right? So as I'm minding my business, they come in the back with me. And they back there talking amongst themselves about Lord, knows what so i'm literally when i tell you i'll be in the back i'll be in la la land because because i don't because what i'm here i'm really just here for a check babe like i only have like a four hour shift i have to i literally have to walk in this small ass section of the store for like four and a half hours so i'm really just trying to make time pass i'm really not worried about what shoe and the homies got going on so i'm i'm minding my business right me it's just it always it just so happens every time i'm minding my mother business shit goes left is this the left <clears throat> This is the left, this is not the left. This is this way, the left. Hold on. So they come back there, right? And I was just minding my business when I was trying to stay out their way, actually, because I don't want to disrupt your shopping because, you know, I don't know what y'all back here by the um by the vibes for, but, you know, if, if you're into that kind of stuff, then it's cool. And mind you, it's Spencer, so we got all types of stuff back there, not just vibes, if you know what I'm saying. Like I said, if you don't know what's in the back of Spencer's, you are too young to be watching my mother videos anyway i'm back there and while i'm back there and you know it may it may not be usual to like other people but for for me you know people coming back there and asking me like if i've used any of the shit back there is it's normal now it wasn't normal then so like the tallest of them i'm talking about this month look at least six three and let me give y'all some reference i'm five three so if i'm five three this motherfucker looks six three See, look at, think about the height difference we're talking about right now. It's very large. So he comes up to me and he's like, Hey, can I ask you a question? And I'm like, yeah, okay. So he pulled me over to why, uh, to where the, he pulled me back there by the butt, right? And he's like, he said, let me ask you a question. I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay, cool. What's up? And then he was like, he was like, why do girls like we you put your finger in their butt? And I was like, have the wrong one i just work here and so i was like huh and he was like why do girls like it when you put your finger in their butt and i said i don't know girls you be talking to but i'm not into nothing like that i said i don't know who i said 
that's between them and what they like and what they got going on they got nothing to do with me he was like yeah because y'all girls weird he was basically like girl he was like yeah y'all girls are weird or whatever because i had a couple girls ask me that before duh, 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 duh. and i said i said i don't know who you be talking to but if they into that that's on them pretty much i'm trying to keep the conversation short god forbid i keep the conversation short and i can move on with the rest of my mother life so he of course proceeds to talk to me i'm like Fuck. We have literally nothing else to talk about. And then he point out he points out the butt. He said, he said, would you ever use one of these? And I was like, I said, would you? And then he was like, no, I'm not even gay. And I was like, I said, I want to put stuff in your butt that'll make you gay. And he was like, bro, I'm not even like that though. And I'm like, I said, okay then. And then he was like, no, but for real, would you use one of these? And I was like, would you use one of these? He said, no, but I'm asking you. I said, okay, but what's your answer? He said, hell no. I said, okay, then say we in the same boat. And then he was like, okay, cool. But I know you know what these do. And he's pointing at the vibe. I'm like, I said, I said, I don't know how any of this stuff work. I just work here. Like I said, I don't, I don't know nothing about any of this. I'm lying. I'm like, I don't know nothing about any of this. I just work here. So I'm like, I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing about any of this. I'm lying, but I'm trying to, I swear to God, I'm just trying to get this one to get away from me. I guess he saw through my life. He said, he said, you ain't got to lie to me like that. He said, he said, you, he said, you got one of these, you own one of these. And I said, I said, like I said, I just work here. I don't know nothing about none of this. And then he was like, man, I think I'm finna get one of these. I said, I said, oh, you finna use it on you? And he's like, no, I'm finna get it for you. I said, huh? And he was like, yeah, I'm finna get it for us. Us? Sir, there is no us. What the fuck? I said, I said, us as in you, like you finna use it. If you're into stuff like that, then that's cool. And he was like, no, I'm finna get it for us. You know what I'm saying? He said, you gonna let me get it for us? And I said, Clean up on aisle this one, cause I'm about to throw the fuck up. So he gonna say that, and I was like, no, nah, I'm good. So literally, when I tell you, I'm literally like, let's say like, like the store comes to a corner right here, and there's like toys on this end, there's like laundry over here. I'm literally in the corner, or whatever. I'm in the, I'm in the corner. He's right here, and like two of his friends are right here. So I'm trying to back up so I can like, so I can like go around, so I can like get out of the back, so I can just like get the fuck away, cause ew, it's, I'm getting uncomfortable. And like I'm talking about, when I tell you as I'm backing up, his friends are for, behind me. And I'm like, I feel like I'm being cornered right, like, right now. Like, I don't know if I'm about to have to swing on these motherfuckers. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to swing my way out of this hole. And, and I swear to God, I'm standing there. I'm trying to back up. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know about any of that. I'm trying to laugh it off. Like, I'm laughing and joking and shit. I'm backing up. His friends are behind me. Please tell me why my manager, Bomb, comes back there. And she was like, why y'all back here bothering her? He said, I wasn't even messing with her like that. I was just asking her a question. And then she, and then she gonna ask me. She, like, she was like, are you good or whatever? And I was like, I said, yeah, I'm good. Like, pretty much trying to insinuate, like, no, I'm not good. Save me. But Bomb, when I tell you Bomb cannot read fucking social cues at all, like none, that motherfucker is tone deaf as hell. So I'm like, I say, I say, yeah, they're cool. That ain't even bother me like that. If you see the situation, I got a, I got this tall ass dude on one side, two dudes on one side. I'm low key cornered. And you talking about some, you good? No, I'm not good. And then she was like, okay, just wanted, she was like, just want to check on you or some bullshit. And then she leaves. I'm like, Fuck. So she left me, and then he's pointing at the lingerie, and he was like, um, which one of these do you like? And I said, I said, why you, I said, why you getting it for a girlfriend or something? And then he was like, you already know who I'm getting it for. He said, stop playing, I'm trying to get it for us. And I said, I said, you just keep saying us. I don't know who the f us is. It's us, you and these motherfuckers over here that, that pretty much on my f back. Is, the, is that us? Because it, us ain't us. It's not us. So who the f it's us. And he was like, I'm trying to get you. He said, I'm trying to buy you one of these. Let me buy you one of these. Dude, I, I'm like, I said, I said, no, I'm good. I'm good on all that. And then he was like, bro, for real? Like, you ain't finna let me buy you nothing out of here? And I was like, I said, I said, if you want to buy something for you, that's cool. But I right, said, so you gonna buy something or leave? Like, what's the, like, what's the dealio screwing? Like, you gonna buy something or you gonna get the fuck out of my motherfucking store? I didn't say it like that because I was intimidated as but the energy was there the big dick energy was there and so and then finally i don't know i guess his friends moved or some shit right so like i'm making my way away from him up out of that funky ass corner and then here come here come my other manager we're gonna call her sock so then sock comes up to me and she was like she asked she was like 
I guess Sock saw what was going on and she came up to me and she was like, do you know them? And I was like, no, I don't know them. And then she was like, come to the front with me. Thank you, Sock, because Bomb be missing social cues in this month. And, I'm, and I get up to the front with Sock and Bomb and I'm like, yeah, I don't know why. They was asking me if they wanted to buy me butt and stuff like that like i don't know they was asking me like if i likes of my booty hole and shit like girl i don't mm, mm, mm. and then and then bomb i swear to god like as i'm telling her what the f these motherfuckers said to me she was like oh they just come in here playing and stuff like that i said no i think they were like trying to i think he was trying to like talk to me talk to me and no i'm not with none of that and then she was like oh because normally he just comes in here he's always messing with me he's harmless though he's harmless i'm like that's not harmless and then sock was like next time that happens just let me know and i'll call security because that's harassment or whatever and they shouldn't do you do that to you while you're at work but long story short um weird mother coming to spencer's and what the f okay i'll be watching wig tutorials i know how to do my hair but i want to try something different do they do this wait do they spray and do this or i'm gonna spray and do it first yeah yeah but um yeah so i was pretty much harassed at work i don't know what what made him come back there and when i okay i didn't mention this before but like while he was talking to me he would like look me up and down and stuff and like lick, like lick his lips She's like bitch get the fuck away from me start immediately like when i tell you trying to talk to me ask me if i like like if i like a finger in my butt if i like if i use butt about the vibe like, sir, I literally just work here. This lanyard says party host. It don't say fucking product distributor or whatever the fuck. Like, leave me alone. But yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. He's kind of attractive. And if I wasn't utterly repulsed by him and if I wasn't in a relationship, I still would have never talked to him because what the fuck made you do that to me? But yeah, let's listen to some music because... Ew. Okay, so you already know what time it is. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put you on to some music because you know my music taste is through the motherfucking roof. So I'm gonna put you on to some songs that I've been listening to lately, recently, recently. I'm gonna put you on to and shut Anya, what the fuck is with the stuttering? And y'all been eating my ass up on TikTok for stuttering, and I don't give a fuck. And if y'all wanna fight, you y'all can catch me out in the street, and I'll Mike Tyson that ass. But um, yeah. So pull out, pull out your uh, Shazams because we, it's about to it's about to get real musically inclined to this motherfucker while I finish up this hair. And then we finna get into y'all unpopular opinions because I was reading some of them, and y'all are throw the fuck off. Anyway, let's go. A little, we're gonna start it off with a little Chloe and Halle. Because I'm not even gonna lie, I slip on them, but then I found this song, and so yeah, y'all need y'all need y'all toes suck, cause y'all put y'all put y'all foot in this damn song. But yeah, let's go. <laughs> A ring. Can, 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 you, can you think of which one it is? Can you think of which ring I'm missing, Steve? Feel my fingers, Steve! I love you, Steve! I haven't seen you in a while. You know I miss you, babe. When you hear this song, feel flattered, it's about your fate And how I miss it, and I wish that I could see it more But you're in college now, and I'm about to go on tour I'm thinking about a Yamaha I'm thinking about a Yamaha And get away from all the cameras I'm over it, don't wanna fantasize it hit me right between the eyes It's funny when they switch and pick sides mm -hmm. Well, 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 well Well, 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 well Well, well, now switch Tell me how it feels To be somebody else Doja! Dosha, this hand is missing a ring. Be 
feel it. But I'll suck your titty for free. I'm not even lying. Like, to be honest. Am I a Doja fan? Am I a Doja fan? It was me who was fucking up. I gave up. I could give, but it seems like it never really was enough. I'm sorry that I hurt you. I'm sorry if it got that bad. I'm sorry I can't help you. Somebody should have had your back. Oh, different, you make it all seem perfect. You see, you like me with no makeup on. Oh my god, I love I love this song, bro. Like, when I tell you I love this song, I mean, like, bro, baby. I think I should know you. Be so cute. I really want to know your name too. I think I should know you. So cute. Okay, it wouldn't be an on video without wallows in it, but that's neither here nor motherfucking near. edges later I'm done with my hair period period it's giving the girls I don't know it's giving the girls scalpiana scalpiana this one it was a little crusty mind your business but now here comes the portion of the video that is very you guys inspired so um today I will be react to you guys unpopular opinions because y'all we as a collective as a community have to come together and realize and fathomize and desynchronize. I don't know where I was going with that. Okay, someone said, y'all fits don't be cute, they just be expensive. And psh, did they lie? Did they lie? Y'all with the Gucci down, with the Louis down, with the, no. It, it's just, it just has the price tag. The price tag is what's making the fit seem appeasing. It's really not. Like, take the whole, throw the whole fucking outfit away. Okay, someone said blue cheese is better than ranch. Enough said very, mm. as a blue cheese and ranch eater, as a wing eater now, that's a very ifsy, ifsy kind of thing. The show you is overrated. Lies. Lies and fabrications. Lies and fabrications. You're lying. You're lying. The fact that you're going to sit here and lie to me, lie, lie to me, is crazy. Oreos are nasty. Lies. See, okay, I thought we was all on the same page. We're not. We're not anymore. Somebody in this motherfucker is lying. Y'all are lying. Cheese is chunky milk. Not even gonna lie, I took biotechnology, um, like my sophomore year, and cheese is literally just molded milk. So you cheese lovers, I need you to rethink. Also, stop drinking cow milk. You're gonna die. And that stuff is disgusting. You're not supposed to drink cow titty milk, but that's neither here nor there. If you want to drink from a cow's titty, do you? Girls should shoot their shot. What girls are not shooting their shot is the better question. I don't know about you, but if I, what did the booty warrior say? I want you, and I gotta have you. Now we can do it the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. 
The choice is yours. Being big is not fat. Okay, first and foremost, the thing, the whole thing about being fat or whatever, being fat, I don't know, there's such a negative connotation on being fat and there's literally nothing wrong with it. Um, being, uh, the word fat itself has been used like as a, um, has been used in a derogatory way, which is stupid as to be honest, I feel like, I feel like all bodies are not meant to be size twos. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're all not meant to be slim thick. We're not all meant to be skinny as fuck. We're not all meant to look like that. Some babies are ugly. Look, so when babies are first born, no matter how much you try to convince yourself they're ugly. Like, I don't know who made them ugly, if God made them ugly. But when a child is first born, there is no way you can convince me, convince me theologically that they're cute they're not they look like wet rats it's just not and they be bald head and pink and nasty and they all look the f same well, you know when a baby first come out they be like that they look just like they daddy liar you're a liar and you know what's crazy because you know that newborn baby like that newborn baby like that newborn baby they, there is no feature there is no they look like they daddy it's they look like the baby over there olivia rodrigo isn't the world's uh new biggest pop star i'm not even gonna lie me and miss rodrigo have a tiny bit of beef for the simple fact that she literally sampled or literally took like a chunk of lyrics from this song that ali and aj made and i'm gonna put the i'm gonna put the song here that she um that she like sampled or whatever she literally took like a whole chunk from this song and ever since then i'm just like i don't i don't like that because I like this, so maybe I'm just biased because I like the original song. It doesn't matter, but just know that I can't let it slide. Someone said napkins are better than toilet paper. <laughs> jail. Electric chair. You know what? I'm dialing 911 as we speak, jail, prison. I want you locked away, throw away the key. I want you buried up under the jail. I can't believe you said that to me. You have, you have to be playing. Ain't no way. Someone says slow relationships over news. I'm not even going to lie. I've never liked news. Like, please do not send me naked pictures of yourself. I just, it's not, it doesn't get my engine revving. It doesn't get my horn a tooting. It doesn't get the waters flowing. Just keep your nudity to yourself. There's nothing about the naked body that's attractive to me. So please just, some people like that. I don't, that's gross. So, why sleep with the TV on? I sleep with the TV on. You know what's crazy? I sleep with the TV on because I was scared of the dark. But now, as I have aged and matured, I lit lit literally have to sleep in the dark. I just like it. It's more peaceful. I don't know. But, you know, a lot of people, my mom still sleep with the TV on because they're scared of the dark. People be scared of the dark. And you know what's crazy? Someone told me that you're not scared of the dark. You're scared of what could be in the dark. And... I'm not scared of the goddamn thing. If the boogeyman wanna come out and touch my booty, then do that. I'm 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 here for it. Come come lap it up. Someone said toxic is not cute, which is completely true. I'm so tired of y'all trying to act like toxicity is so cute. Oh my god, like we're so toxic. And that's not cute. Having an, a very unhealthy relationship is mentally and physically and emotionally draining as fuck. So I don't even know how you could do this to yourself. But I'm not here to judge, but I'm completely judging you. Any song by Trey Songs do not be hidden. First and foremost, Trey Songs, um, I don't like him. I don't like him. And if you don't know why I don't like him, I need you to go Google something. Or Choice TV made like a whole video about it. Go watch it. Because I'm not finna explain shit. Just know that Trey Songs is a piece of shit. Period. So I said, dresses and sneakers worn together, just no. Enough said. That's disgusting. Don't do that. Peach cobbler is bottom tier. Peach cobbler is literally disgusting as fuck. Then again, I don't like pie. So, I mean, if you like pie, then probably like peach cobbler. But, like, in the crusty, soggy. No. Uh, someone said pineapple on pizza is good. I 100% completely agree. It tastes like... People who buy band shirts or any artist shirts and don't know any of their songs, nor the artist, and only bought it for looks, no. Just No. Um, I literally, I'm tired of seeing people of this complexion wearing Aaliyah shirts, wearing Tupac shirts, when y'all can't tell me a Tupac song right now. Let, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. What, what song is this? I can't deny it. I'm a straight rider. You don't want to with me. What song is that? What song is that? If you don't know that song, you can't wear a Tupac shirt. I'm, I'm saying that's it. White men are rarely attractive. Mm. Let me stop you right there. Johnny Depp, Ryan Gosling, Justin Timberlake, Timothy Chalamet. Mm. Mm. Don't say that. Don't say that. 
Um, someone said having a private account means you're a bad person. I don't necessarily think that having a private account makes you a bad person. However, it do it do be the ones who who be who be, who got the loudest who got the loudest mouth who be flapping them gums the most be the ones with the private pages and no 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 because why why are you doing all this all this mouth why are you running all this mouth. And I can't even see what you look like. Like, are you scared that you're not that you're not up to standards, which is why you can't talk shit? You know what? That's neither here nor there. Someone said we should stop criminalizing Mary Jane and also military schools shouldn't exist. I feel like military schools are literally torture, but I, you know, neither here nor there. And to be honest, I don't know why for a minute I thought military schools were only something that was shown on TV. Someone said, if you can't enjoy your own space and be by yourself, then how are you going to survive in a re relationship when someone wants personal space? Now, I 100% believe that because I don't know why some of y'all just cannot function without a relationship. And it's honestly sad as fuck. Like y'all can't function without a relationship, without people around you. And I swear to God, when you learn how to be by yourself and learn to stay in your own lane and learn how to function and be cool by yourself. When I tell you all these re healthy relationships will flock to you because not only do you know how to live as an individual, now you can now you can learn how to be in a relationship. You know, you can't you can't learn to be in a relationship without knowing how to be by yourself. If that makes any fucking sense, and I know it did. Someone said Toby the best Spider Man. That's a lie. Andrew Garfield is, and I'm not. I don't need to explain a goddamn mother thing on that. It says people who overly cuss are just annoying. Um, I feel personally attacked because as someone who overly cuss, I have the mouth. I have the mouth of a fucking sailor, and I don't feel like I'm annoying at all. So, hate to say you're wrong, but hate to say your opinion is wrong because opinions can't be wrong. But it's a you're a tad incorrect. Minors can vape. Good night. No one should vape. That's disgusting. Okay, and the last one we have here are zoos are bad. I, di I, I didn't think about it until I saw this, but the fact that we literally capture wild animals and put them in closed, confined spaces just for us to look at them screams evil. Like, that's evil as fuck. That's like if animals someday arisen, arose, arise, and then they just lock up all humans and put us in little glass boxes just to be looked at. That sounds miserable as fuck. Yeah, so those are all the unpopular opinions I'm gonna be talking about today you guys actually like i got like i had like hella responses this time and i really appreciate you guys for engaging with me because you know i'm a lonely ass bitch and i be um i be needing companionship but yeah so that's about wraps up this video um thank you thank you for watching me um you know do my hair and cure my baldness i mean i'm not bald but like i would love bottle all you know what i'm saying but Thank you for like sticking with me and like listening to music and hearing my crazy ass story and you know giving me a popular opinion. I feel like I'm gonna keep doing more videos like this, but I kind of want I want the last segment of like the videos or whatever to be more like engagement kind of things like me, you guys interact. I don't fucking know shit. Does it make any sense? Am I making sense? I am in my head. It's it's translating. You guys get it. But yeah, so that's about wrap this video. And don't forget to create your own happiness. And I will see you the next time I decide to do my hair and cure my baldness and listen to music and, and talk my shit. I keep losing my train of thought. Probably because it's 3 o'clock in the fucking morning. Y'all, it is 3.29 a.m. I'm going to take my ass to bed. But, yeah, so, bye. I love you. Go out there and thrive, babe, because when you look good, I look good.